Recurring tasks are very easy to set up in Tana for tasks. So we'll say this one recurs every day, this one recurs every Monday, this recurs every third of the month, this recurs every um, Christmas, um, and this recurs every 45 days, okay? So now all I have to do for each of these, set them as recurring tasks, and you'll see that little rocket command. Don't click it yet, because it wouldn't work yet. Um, we have to set what do we want our first instance to be, which we do in our scheduled on field. So this is every day. We'll say we want our first instance to be tomorrow, um, tomorrow. Um, and then that we it's every day, it's every one day. And it repeats from completed. So this is a little thing that I'll explain. The general idea is, do I want it to, com to regenerate the next uh, recurrence based on when I finished it? today, or do I want it to regenerate the next day based on when it was originally scheduled? So the others that we have in here, all but one, you'll see I want to do from scheduled. This one, however, since it's every day, I want to do from completed. If it happens to get overdue by two days, and then I finish it at some point, I don't want it to be uh, set up to uh, uh, only then be done the next day, like two days ago. I want to be done the next day from today, uh, so from when I completed. And when you've got those loaded, hit the little rocket, and now it's set up as a regular task, and it just will has some special functionality to allow it to recur. You can still reschedule it as you would with these others, um, but that's how that is, is set up to work. Uh, so um, the next thing here um, with my... Um, uh, scheduling this one for every Monday. The first thing we would want it to occur would be next Monday. So the 29th, that's the first occurrence of it. We want that to recur every week. And since we want it to recur on Monday, no matter when we actually wind up doing it, we're going to say scheduled for that. And I'm going to hit the rocket. And now we have that set up. The third of every month. So we'll want the first one of this to be June 3rd. Um, and then we'll say we want that to recur once every month, once a month, and we want it to repeat from scheduled. If I don't finish it till the 5th, I still want it to occur um, on the uh, 3rd. Every Christmas, first one will be scheduled for, sorry, December 25th. Uh, let me click back into that to do that. December 25th. Oh, sorry. I got a little uh, click happy there. Uh, the arrows jump around a little bit with the, with the calendar, so you have to watch that. Okay, scheduled for the 25th. I want that to occur every year um, because Christmas comes once a year. I have that set, um, and then I'll say repeat from scheduled because, you know, if I don't do it till the 27th, I still want it to happen on Christmas. Forgot to initialize my third of the month, but the rocket guides me to show me that I did. Um, and I will also have, a, you know, you can also check and make sure that everything is uh, is set correctly uh, with some, you know, a query, the recurring task to see how that works. Every 45 days, we'll say we want to start that tomorrow. Um, and then every 45 for the how many instead of Typing one, we'll type 45 days. And this is another one I'd say from completed. Whenever it is done, we wanted to do it 45 days from then. And now, why do I have all this on the right side of the screen? Because we never work with recurring tasks as their originals. We work with them. Sorry, but I keep mousing over the commands and it's giving me the information. We would work with them as they arrive in the agendas, which are actually going to show up as references. And this allows us to see some things that are kind of cool. So with every day, Watch over here. You're going to see this one is scheduled for tomorrow. Um, let's actually bring it back to today because it is set to do from completed. So since today is always going to be today, in that sense, when I click this is done, we'll want to see the shift to tomorrow. So this is the same task. This is a reference to this, the left side, the reference to the right side. When I click done, it's going to leave a done task on the left, and it's going to update this to tomorrow on the right. Done. Done task on the left updated to tomorrow on the right. Every Monday, let's open it up. Now the every Monday one, and by the way, just to note that, that means that this will now show up in tomorrow's agenda options, okay? So every Monday, um, this one's gonna do from scheduled, so this one uh, will change no matter what, but I have this Monday over here, Monday over there. Uh, let's say, you know what, I'm not gonna get to it this Monday, I wanna push that. Instead of clicking the, the uh, uh, finish and, and move forward, we're gonna click the um, push, the don't finish and move forward. It'll disappear from the left side. It will update to whatever the first Monday in June is, uh, probably what's that, the, the 5th or so. Okay, Monday, June 5th, and there it is. It disappeared from the left side because I don't want to see it in a agenda anymore if I have updated that. Okay, 
Uh, you'll see every third of the month works the same way. Let's say I, for whatever reason, get this done real soon. It'll update to July uh, to July 3rd over here. Um, and in fact, uh, you know, what's interesting about that is no matter what day I would wind up ultimately having it scheduled on, um, let's say, you know, oh, I had to move it um, and I didn't actually get to it till June 7th. It's not going to move to July 7th. It's going to move to July 3rd. I will click it done over here. It leaves it done over here and it updates it to July third as expected every christmas um will happen on the 25th uh let's say that i had to reschedule that for a week later so i rescheduled that for new year's so now it's january 24th it's still going to update just fine when i complete it to christmas of 2024 um uh, january 1st of 2024 is what i said what i said a second ago and every 45 days this will go from wherever we complete if it's due tomorrow and i finish it today from today it'll put forward 45 days when I click it it marks it as done and it shifts ahead 45 days and I'm not actually doing the math directly on that but I'm pretty that sounds about right to me